Patsy and I'm back with another speed edit and create a sim in The Sims 4 and today we're creating a bonfire inspired couple. So I wanted to do something for bonfire night. It was between a bonfire couple and a firework couple <laughs> and I was going to do like lots of multicoloured sort of clothes and hairstyles and stuff. If you want to see something like that then let me know pretty soon because I think, when is bonfire night? I always get confused. I think it's November the 11th, I think. So I've got a, November the 5th, hang on. I've got my husband whispering <laughs> in the background. It's today, oh, this might not work. <laughs> this is my bonfire night couple. And I worked hard on these last night. So I guess this is, you know, it still works. So my vision for this couple was that they'd have sort of fiery last name. So that's why he's called Josu Ignite. I think that's how you pronounce Josu, but I don't know because I just randomise his name. I have a really bad habit at the moment of picking names that I don't know how to pronounce, <laughs> which is just really stupid. So I will try to learn the pronunciations of names before I actually name a Sims that. So he's supposed to be, I think, I thought he was hot-headed. I might not have had him as hot-headed. Oh, he's a teen. So the idea for him then is that he gets hot-headed when he's older. So that's going to be good. I love the look of the big jumper with the wraparound as well because, I don't know, it looks like he's he's got a lot of layers on that. I like it. It just looks so casual. And I think for a bonfire night, that is just going to be amazing. So yeah, the idea is that he goes to this like bonfire night with his girlfriend who we're going to create in a little bit and they're just a great couple. I wanted to do something with like red and orangey colours. So that's why he has like red hair and he looks fiery. I don't know, he just does. <laughs> I like him. So he does have a bit of a strange sportswear, which I did go over just briefly. And that was because I don't really dress many Sims like that. And when I just clicked on him, he was pretty much dressed like that anyway. And I really liked it. I don't usually put Sims in the thermal wear. I don't even know what you have that for, like what walking. So that would be great when Pets comes out because he could go and take like his cat or a dog or a raccoon. <laughs> Or what's the other one? A fox for a walk. That would be great. A fox. Yes, he definitely would fox because like the orange and the red colours. Yeah, works perfectly. So here's Hazel Sparks, his girlfriend. So I just wanted to do a cute couple. I did an autumn couple and a lot of you really loved that couple. So I thought, okay, like try and stick to the couple thing and try and do that. So I've got a few more couple ideas coming up, which is going to be good. You'll probably see a lot around Christmas time, you know, things like that, because I have got a lot of ideas. And I'm actually thinking of doing like little mini competitions, you know, just like, I, I don't know like what, <laughs> what the price could be, I have no idea. Um, but I'd love to do something where there's like a little challenge, like, you know, create a bonfire couple, things like that. And if you're interested in that, then I'll try and set that up for next time and just like set up some basic rules or something. You know, they've got to look they've got to have this or this or this you know that that kind of thing and yeah which kind of leaves it open to everyone else and you can share that over youtube you can share it like just on twitter if you only use twitter or instagram because i post a lot of my pictures a lot of my speed edits on my instagram so if you're ever wondering like where you see them first like hey how do i find out what you're sharing next it's probably going to be on instagram because i've started to use that a lot so i use it for like my personal pictures and i also use it for sims just because it's a good place to post. I always feel funny about posting to Twitter. I do, but I mainly post builds to Twitter. So create a sim, speed edits are all over on Instagram. And then occasionally I'll post to Twitter. Like if I'm really proud and I just want everyone to see it, <laughs> then it will be on both. But usually it's like builds on Twitter and then create a sims on Instagram. So his girlfriend, I actually put her in the hairstyle that I got with the cottage garden custom stuff pack. So a lot of the suggestions from the build video that I did with that pack were that I did a create a sim and I really love that idea but because it's just such a seasonal time at this point <laughs> it's always seasonal however I thought well okay I might hold it off for a bit because it's like cold and I wanted to do something with that maybe maybe like in a little bit not right now because I have a lot of ideas but the problem is I have like all these ideas but not enough time to do them all if that makes sense and then like what will happen 
is I'll get like more and more suggestions and they just like pile on top of each other and then I get really stressed because I feel like I've got like so much to do and I don't want to disappoint anyone and it's really upsetting like I do not like disappointing people so yeah I'm just trying to do like a lot at the moment I have a few ideas for other creator sims and, and things like that so you'll see a lot more of these coming up on the channel just because I love doing them like this is my favorite kind of video to film at the moment I actually prefer doing creator sims and speed edits over builds right now yeah I know <laughs> and my channel is like mainly for building but no no this is my favorite like I want to be able to do these as much as my builds and I want them to have like a proper place on the channel so you just be seeing them more so anyway, onto the speed edit now. I did some adjustments before I started and that was to do with lighting and things like that. I wasn't gonna do like a whole sort of video or like put that footage in. And I think that's a good way to kind of save time. But yeah, I massively like brightened up the background and stuff before we even started. But that's to do with like mods and stuff like that. And also to do with like me just doing minor adjustments on Photoshop just before we started but at the end what you'll see is you'll see like the original like if you were to have the sims in normal sims gameplay how they'd look versus how I had them looking so that's where that'll be because otherwise I'll get those comments like hey why does this picture look different to when it started and then I'll be like well it's because I did some adjustments off screen and that's just it so I tried to saturate everything because the whole colour theme for this picture was like oranges and reds. So I tried to make the other colours stand out a little bit more just to kind of get some pops in there because that's like really important. I didn't want to do that with the leaves in the background so you'll notice that I just left those how they are. And that was because I thought they looked quite nice and I didn't want to draw too much attention to them because the main feature of this is the orange. So you'll see that. But yeah, I started on her first. I did a lot with her hair. So the idea was that it was just supposed to be very loose rather than like quite tight plaits. It was supposed to be like looser and falling down and kind of in the wind a bit. Not that it's supposed to be that windy because I didn't want to think too much about like hair directions and stuff like that. Like I'm, I'm sorry, that was the last thing on my mind at this point. But I wanted it to look like as the fire's going up, there's like wind blowing upwards and that's where like that comes in if that makes sense to people but yeah I wanted her hair to shine a lot because I'm quite obsessed with shiny hair I don't have it myself so I like to <laughs> make sure my sims have it and the hand okay let's talk about that for a second so what happened here was the pose that the sims were in when I took the picture the hand was messed up unfortunately like it's a really lovely pose that I've downloaded but no no the hand there's a massive issue with it like they just don't join up the fingers are going through each other and it just it was a mess so I needed to redo the hand myself and as you probably know I'm not going to be the best at hands because this is the first time I've ever done a hand before so this is completely new but I had a go with it and I tried to make it look as accurate as possible but I mean hands are hard it's a tough thing to start with as well like I've just got into speed edits and now I'm doing hands and like positions of hands like if it was a straight hand I'd be okay but because they're all curved and weird no no not good so it was tough but I had it done to a good standard by the end I think I did anyway like it's definitely a recognizable hand you'd look at it and think okay yeah that's a hand <laughs> and um, I tried I really did try with it because I wanted to make it look as accurate as I could and fit in but at the same time like, I was stressing myself out a lot I know it's not going to be the best and I would kind of appreciate like constructive criticism maybe without the hands <laughs> um and that is because I know it's not like the best but it's practice that's all it is like it's just it's going to take me practice I'm not going to be the best at something if I do it like one time it's going to be you know a few times after or several times after like however many times after to perfect that we'll do it but it's just it's not this time but it had a nice glow by the end which was good so it looks like the light from the fire is just kind of shining everywhere which I think is great and going on some shading so shading was pretty important I like to shade quite a lot and that's because I wanted them to stand out like I'm not afraid of sort of adding like loads of definition to the sims I try and stay away from like really dark colors like blacks and I try and use like browns or 
purples or blues or like whatever will go but I like brown just because of the colour theme I wasn't going to start adding like blue to them but I was happy with it honestly I think the picture is really pretty great angle and it was going well so far so the boyfriend his hair was a bit of a mess because <laughs> it's very curly and I love curly hair and I love doing male hair actually with the speed edits because you can make it like really crazy and animated and like that's what I was kind of going for for him but because it's just so chunky I needed to do something with it so I think it ends up pretty good in the end like I was happy with it considering that he has very tight curls in his hair I liked it it just it looks good so I thought that was great I actually enjoyed probably his hair the most just because it was different you know I usually do like a lot of straight hair and like a lot of the um the females that I do they'll have like really long flowy hair usually because I don't tend to pick shorter hairstyles so that's good so I had fun I did and um I think they're a great couple I think they're gonna look really good if you add them into your game they will be on the sims Four gallery and I will put a lot of my creations on there the reason why I have been sort of leaving creations off the gallery recently is because I've just been very busy like I've been very motivated to just get more and more content out so I don't spend much time like kind of hanging about like on the gallery anymore just because like I'm working very hard um, but I will like I will take a few minutes or like however long it will be to go and like put all my creations on there and if there's a creation that you're wondering about also try refreshing the page because sometimes the gallery says that things aren't there but they actually are there and it is so frustrating like the amount of times I get asked about my Hogwarts build is just infuriating honestly like it's there I've been accused of being a liar <laughs> I can promise you Hogwarts is there but it's just the gallery like I don't know what's going on with it I wish they'd fix it but I don't even think they can because I think that because it's already program like that it's gonna be tough yeah it's uh, strange but make sure if you are looking for the sims to look in the advanced settings tab because that's where they'll be because of the custom content because he has max's match in fact no they both do they both have max's match hair and then she has eyelashes and i think they may both have custom eyes but that's it <laughs> yeah that's no hang on no she has makeup as well but her makeup's not that heavy so it wouldn't be a big deal even if you downloaded her and you didn't have the exact matches I have you could just add her in with other stuff and that would look fine too so I was going around the outside of their clothes and this is because in the sims you get that like horrible pixelated edge yeah so I tried to get rid of that and make it look a lot smoother make it look like it was more realistic and I think it looks good so I was happy with that and I was adding some of the yellows colours behind because I wanted to make sure that the fire was just like really bright and it stood out and yeah it's just it's supposed to be like the main or well, one of the main features of this photo but I was really inspired by other photos that I found online particularly on Pinterest actually where you would get a picture of a couple and they'd be close like they'd be I don't know holding hands or like in this kind of pose together but then the fire behind them would just like be the feature that would be like the best thing about it um, just for the background setting it just looked great so I was trying to focus a lot on that and that is the end of it I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see all future ones thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all soon